What's up? I am finally ready to show you guys my studio. It is not finished, but it is never finished. So I figured why don't I show you what I have right now and how I'm using it and some of my plans and just the current state of the studio. Let's go. All right, so first we're gonna start off where when you walk in, so you can kind of get an idea of the flow of the room. Now, this is the studio that I've been working on for over a year now. And I essentially wanted to break this room into thirds. So you have a lounge bar area right here. You have a lounge area right here. And then you have a studio right here. And I'm using the space of this nook to put a large desk for my work. And then you have some, you know, knickknacks and stuff up here. So everything has worked out in this way and this layout because I worked in this room for over a year and a half and I did not do anything but stage desks, lights, and kind of figured out how I wanted things to be set up. So let's go ahead and start with the kitchen area. You see, this is just a quick thing. I have some coffee mess and I have some honey and this is very much in a staging phase. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with the kitchen area. And I have a hookup over here for a sink that later on I will make this into a nice little kitchenette. And right here is my bar. This is obviously one of the things that I'm still working on because I don't really have a lot of space for all of my glasses and different accessories and ingredients. So I do have a small whiskey collection. I'm not too big on it yet, but I am getting there. It is kind of a cool little hobby. Of course, Atlanta United, always repping. Also repping some other teams too, but we won't get into that right now. So once you're coming from the kitchen bar area, you'll see this is the lounge area. Now I have a 65 inch OLED LG TV that I just purchased. My first TV purchase in probably maybe over 10 years. Last TV I purchased was a Panasonic Viera plasma TV. So I am taking full advantage of the black levels and the contrast and all the good deep, deep colors you get with an OLED because this is a windowless room. So I really love this TV. It's very good with gaming. I have a nice mount here that is very thin, very flush. And I have the wiring running perfectly through the wall. And I will be building some sort of box here to cover everything so that it looks nice and neat. Right here is a table where it is a game table slash coffee table. Um, it's pretty big. You see you have a pillow here for gaming. My daughter likes to sit there and we play chess. And this is a really cool little chess set that I have. And it has the different political players from the 2020 election. So it's really cool conversation starter. Also, I like to play with my daughter and teach her about America. It's really cool. Um, right here is a puzzle for the office. And I am just a huge office fan. So, you know, nice thing to have out. Got some little mind puzzles here. A lot of games, little Hanayama puzzle here. A lot of games and stuff like that on here just to have something to, you know, have the kids play with while I'm gaming or while I'm working. And of course, right here, you have the dog beds. This is actually two dog beds. I just have them stacked on top of each other right now because I didn't want to take up too much space. I have a whiteboard right here, which is just something that I write thoughts on from time to time. That's a little slogan that I like to look at. And I have it where I can see it when I first walk in. And it just says none of this work matters. Just a reminder to take time and be present and enjoy your family. Um, on this side right here, uh, I think my daughter wrote that or maybe my wife, I don't know. Somebody wrote that. Um, I have some ideas here for some videos and then I have some keywords that I'm trying to work out for the channel so that I can grow. I gotta have some keywords. Uh, right here is the studio area. So I do have this little whiteboard dividing it up. Normally I have it flat against the wall, but I was actually shooting on this backdrop. So I moved it out the way, which is another point 
Everything in the studio has wheels so that you can move it and adjust and adapt. So got a tripod here and this is a V-mount battery back so that I can run the FX30, which I'm holding right now for a very long time. So it works out really, really good. And this little studio backdrop is a, about 110 inches. I'm planning to get some more colors, but right now I'm still rocking the gray that I used to use at my old house in my old studio. And so right here is the production table and you see it is a complete mess, which is okay because uh, this is where production happens. So I just did a what's in my bag video and this is the bag that was featured in it. This is the Wondered bag, uh, 31 liter. I've had this bag for about four years. Definitely check out that video if you're interested in learning about good bags, how to pick them out, and what to look for in a good bag. Uh, also right here is a couple things. I have a Nomad charger. I have a USB fan. This is mostly for camping, but I was charging it here. Various odds and ends. Got some battery packs. Got some batteries for my radio. And I have a lens here that a friend let me borrow. This is actually a really, really good lens. I shot the uh, camping gear overland video with this lens. Um, and I've shot some other things with this lens too. So um, very, very, very good lens considering getting it and adding it to my kit. Uh, right here is a huge 30,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, I use that for various stuff, you know, especially camping or trying to charge a bunch of gear. I got my slider here that I mo normally mount this my camera on here while I use it as a tripod. I don't really use it as a slider when it's in this position, but I have it set up so that I can basically turn it around and use it for B-roll or something like that. So really cool. I'm really glad I got it. I've always kind of held off buying a slider, but this has been really, really fun to use. Got a Veripole here attached to an Emeron 100D, and that is just my key light for my A-roll, um, that's it. I kind of wanted to keep things simple. I wanted me to be able to start recording as fast as possible. And as you can tell, it is working out. So right here is essentially what I've been working on for many years, <laughs> is a mega desk. Like ever since Dwight did it in the office, I always wanted a desk that could fit everything I needed. And so I decided to go with a pretty shallow counter depth desk because I didn't want to be too far from the monitor, but I knew I wanted the monitor to be up against the wall. And so what you have here is the desk that came to be. Now this is a Home Depot um, butcher countertop. And if you are looking at the legs, you'll see that they are stand and adjustable legs. This is by Autonomous. Very, very good brand. I don't know. I feel like this is at the weight limit. So I'm not necessarily sure this is good long term. Uh, so don't really try to replicate this. Um, I think it is at weight limit, but I do have some new additions. I did add that hard drive and also those speakers and then also that hard drive over there. And I don't believe I've weighed it since then. So that is why I am a little concerned. All right. So if you see here, I have... From the, from the left to the right, I have an Apple II E poster. Now this is something that someone picked up from me at a thrift store and it has been really, really cool to have. And I have an Ikea lamp here, which is also a hue light. This is just a daylight bulb, so it doesn't change colors. Um, I have a bunch of knickknacks, got my Michael Scott, got a picture of my daughter, you know, some Tesla. Got a Tesla Hot Wheel, got Bruce Wayne there. And this is, you know, Father's Day gifts and stuff like that. Things like the kids get me. Um, right here is just a uh, snack pouch for Beta, you know, whenever I need to give her a treat. You guys are getting a raw and unfiltered desk tour. Most people clean up their desks and they don't really show it lived in. But I wanted to do something different here and kind of show you guys exactly how everything is set up and how it looks when I'm just actually using it. The Elgato uh, mic, this is really, really good. Got the arm. I just chose to go with this arm so that I could have it in a, in a good way, like right out of the way, right in my face. 
I could still type and everything works. It's worked out so far. I don't regret going with the low mount. It's a little awkward if you don't really understand how you're gonna use it um, and you don't really want it to go across your desk. I think it is best used when it's on the front of your desk. You got the Nomad stand. Now this is super heavy, super durable, and I love how it works with the really cool mode whenever it's charging. You can kind of go like that. And then while you're at your desk, you can just see everything. It's really cool. Cannot, cannot, cannot forget the star of the show, the microfiber cloth. I got to tell you guys, the microfiber cloth is the most important part of your studio. And a man with no microfiber cloth is no man at all. And I want to thank my sponsor, Microfiber Cloths, for being there to clean up the mess that I always make. Thank you, Microfiber Cloth. <laughs> also, the SanDisk Professional hard drive. Um, I use this for archiving all of my footage. I have a couple of books here as a stand for my monitor. Um, I got the Kobe Bryant book, Elf, um, and I got Virgil Abloh's book, and I got a book I got from Switzerland, which is about the history of Helvetica. Apple boxes, I guess I'm a millennial, probably should get rid of them, but I'm not. These are all the iPhones. So I have every iPhone going back to the iPhone 4. I do not have the 3GS or 3, but every iPhone box going back to the 4. I even got the, my favorite one, the slate blue iPhone 5, greatest iPhone of all time. Greatest iPhone of all time. Up here is just some books and some collectibles from the collector edition of different video games that I've gotten. So I have Horizon Zero Dawn up there. I have Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. I got The Witcher. I got Uncharted and I got Dark Souls. I hate that game, it's stupid. And that is essentially my desk up until we talk about the main attraction, which is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now this is the M1 Pro with four terabyte hard drive, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has been my workhorse. I don't see upgrading right now, but it has been great. I have some videos about this. So if you wanna learn more about what I think about it, it has been great so far since then. And I don't have a reason to upgrade now, even though it is about two years old now and I'm still running on it just fine. Steam Deck, uh, this is just a control center for my lights, works out really good. I have the MX Master, this is the three, this is the three, yep. Got my Magic Trackpad with a D-brand skin from uh, the homie from Black Cow Tattoos in Leslieville, Canada. Uh, he partnered with D-brand for his own skin. So shout out to Jesse. Uh, these are really dope. I even have one on my MacBook. So pretty cool skin. And if you're wondering why I have that, that's because he did this tattoo as well. Behind here, I have a NAS. I have a candle warmer. This is one of the best ways to like keep your office smelling good. It's just do a candle warmer. No, no flame, no smoke, safe, you know, just candle warmer. Get you one. I'll definitely link this down in the description so that you can use that. Uh, not sure what this is, random stuff. Got a Elgato cap for my camera. It's a privacy camera, privacy cap. And I got a uh, Kobe Bryant charm for my Crocs. So, like I said, you guys are seeing a dirty office. I'm gonna start a revolution here. Dirty office tours are much better than a sterile office tour. If you agree, leave a comment down below. Over here is just, over here is just random junk. Um, I have a broken hard drive from uh, Lacey, let's see. Um, I have a Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh no, this is, yeah, this is Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I haven't gotten desperate yet, so I'm gonna keep that. I have another Kobe Bryant Mamba Mentality book. A uh, huge fan of Kobe Bryant, and you'll see why in a later video. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to put up along that wall. Uh, that is it, just inspirational books. Got some cool Apple posters. I got a BenQ uh, professional designer monitor. It's been great. And I got a anchor hub. 
So these have all been really good. It allows me to plug everything in and I can be secure and everything has been powered. And I'm, I like this setup. I'm going to redo all of this in a sense of remove the books and really clean up the wiring. As you can tell right now, this wiring is not the best. And I'm sorry if you are sensitive to bad wiring, just know that I have at least a framework. You know what I mean? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. This is a work in progress. And shout out to the magnetic lights that are on a sensor and hang on to the legs. But yeah, this is gonna be clean when I'm done. Just one cable, that's the goal. Just that one cable right here. That's all we're gonna have. Actually, we'll have two because we'll have the ethernet, but just one cable where they'll be together into one tube, okay? I promise, I promise. Kind of jumping back and forth here, but here is a cart of random stuff. This has like props for videos, uh, extra camera equipment, screen protectors, uh, wire management stuff. Um, some stuff I need to unbox and do on camera. I got the Atari over there. And that is essentially the studio office part of the entire space. All right, so let's talk about the closet. Now, this is the gear closet. It is not the cleanest, and that is by design. I have not really focused too much on how I want this closet to look, other than the fact that I know that I need a gear desk and I need a space to store a light. So I designed the closet to be able to have like a barn door, and I will eventually have this light mounted on something a little bit better. This is a battery powered V mount light and it works out great because I can wheel it out of this room, bring it over into this area and then I can use it to shoot. Right now I'm kind of using it as a light to kind of fill in my face a little bit better because it is a little bit dark in this part of the studio. So the closet is pretty wide as you can tell. This is me extending my arm out and you can kind of see how deep it is. It's not that bad when I'm coming in here to grab some gear put everything into my tough case or put my bag together. And so I'm slowly trying to figure out like a charging station slash storage area here where I can either do this whole wall straight up like this, or if I wanna have a wall straight up like this and be able to walk in and stand this way. So I have not figured that out yet, but that is why I am a huge, huge advocate of just staging what you think you need and where you need it and then start building how you wanna organize it, especially when you're trying to do something as big as a project as designing your own studio or your own workspace or whatever you're trying to design in your home. Space design and, and, and all of this is really, really fascinating to me. It's really fun. And it's been really cool doing things like having this pocket door right here, which is a pocket door. Having this false wall here for backdrops is really useful. I have a whole spot here that I can use for production stuff. So light stands, everything that I need is right here nice and safe and sound. So again, this is still all work in progress. Uh, I don't know what to really show you guys in here yet, but stay tuned. Once this is really organized, you'll, you'll see it, of course. Thank you for sticking around throughout this whole video. I really appreciate it. This has been a fun process. I have a lot of footage and I would love to show it to you. If you're interested in seeing a video about how the studio came about and some of the planning process, leave a comment down below. I just want to know that there's somebody out there that wants to watch it and I'll, I'll make it. You know, it's a, it's a long time to put this type of stuff together. So I just want to make sure that, um, I, you know, it's not just a, a showcase of the office, but it can help you in your designing process if you're going through any renovations or if you're trying to design a space that is unique to you. Um, I think some of the ways and some of the things that I did in the process can help you design your own space. So I would love to help you do that. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you're interested in. Other than that, I just want to thank you again. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay up.